Up next, he was born in Canada, but he has Georgia on his mind now, and he's taking Southern cooking and drinking way up. Good stuff. You're Great watching CBS us, this morning, Saturday. Chef Hugh Atchison is Canadian-born, but he found his culinary inspiration in the American South, putting his own stamp on Southern cuisine. The winner of two James Beard Awards, he is on both Top Chef. I'm just looking forward to this food so much. <laughs> I can't even concentrate right the now. Coffee, yes. He's on both Top Chef and Top Chef Masters this season, while continuing as chef and partner of three Georgia restaurants, Empire State South in Atlanta, and Five and Ten, and the National in Athens. We are delighted to welcome Chef Hugh Atchison to his second appearance Yes. On the dish, which may be the first double signed plate. We're not I, sure. This is a multi course course dish thing for me. It's we're, good fun. I don't know if it's on the other side or what do I do? <laughs> uh, maybe that maybe you only on the top one. of the other plate. I there think. you go. So okay. tell us about the ultimate dish. What do we have here today? You know, we've got amazing use of what um, makes me really proud, which is Georgia produce. So a lot of tons of Georgia blueberries, Georgia pecans, all these things going through. This is pork tenderloin with frise and uh, roasted blueberries. Um, and then we've got beautiful Vidalia onions. Over here we've got a tomato salad with fresh cut corn and basil and feta cheese. This rice bread is a old school that recipe called incredible. filpi. So you could take cooked rice and pulverize it and make it into a batter and then quickly cook that. Mm. We've got a really simple salad of blue cheese with frise, Georgia blueberries, Georgia pecans. And I've got okra with some almonds. Is that really, cooked okra or is that just flash fried? Yeah, really quickly flash cooked. We don't say fried because we're cooking in about, you know, um, a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay. But really high heat and it takes about two minutes. And it gets away from that notion of people saying, oh, the okra is all slimy and gross and I don't like it. This is really fresh and really easy and, and quick to prepare and it's that time of year. So, How does a kid from Ottawa end up reinventing southern cooking really lost I'm, i've been lost for years um but no i you know i married a girl in georgia and uh moved down there 20 years ago and just got really i feel it's really important to get into whatever community you're in and i just love georgia and and living there has been great and really interested amazing culinary heritage there you grew up eating what though uh canned yellow wax beans and fish sticks but you mentioned the seasonality. Yeah, astronomy. Great <laughs> astronomy. <laughs> right it is. You know, I was raised by an economist father who raised four kids. Uh, and, you know, so we, 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 it wasn't a gastronomic household at all. You mentioned the seasonality. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was interesting because at five and six years old, you realized certain foods should be in certain seasons, and that's how I'm going to cook. No, I mean, I think that we were all reactive. You know, at, at five and six, though, I did really realize uh, in going to my cottage what the seasons were, when corn season was, when raspberry season was, when blueberry season was. And this is, I think, sort of, you know, it was really important to realize things that become just commonly available all the time. We just need to remind ourselves that Georgia blueberries have a season, and Georgia pecans have a season, and Georgia apples have a season. And that's what makes it really interesting when we, when we look at food and, and look at changing our diets throughout the year. You have a family. I do. You have 17 television shows. They, don't, they claim I don't have Not family. quite that many, but less than that. 17, yeah. And restaurants. How do you balance yeah. all that out? It's a juggling. It's, it's always good, though. It's fun. It's, um, the TV shows are really quite easy to do. It's not like you guys. It's not every day that we do this. We, do, we film a season, we finish the shoot, and then it airs. So it's pretty straightforward. Running restaurants is definitely the full-time occupation, and lots of writing and stuff like that. But still have time for the family and walking them to school and getting them to pack their lunches and do all that. We were watching some images there from Top Chef. Yeah. You were originally told them no. Yeah, well, I originally told them no as a uh, regular contestant on the regular show because it could be a little risky for me. Uh, at that point in time, I was working 80 hours a week. It was my restaurant. I was the plumber the chef, the accountant, all those things in an independent small restaurant. When Masters called, I felt like and at least I, if I did badly, I could say, it's for charity. So there's always an excuse. Can you hold out your left arm for a second? Yeah. If you could, maybe for us, like and maybe the, maybe the camera. Well, that way or right in front of you, whatever. Well, no, now you're blocking the test. This here. is uh, a, yeah, this is a radish. A um, tattoo radish. A tattoo radish. You know, and because you never have that awkward moment where somebody's like, I've got the same tattoo. You know, with that Trans Am symbol on your chest, everybody's like, I That was the that. thinking that went into it? Yeah. But it. is there an award associated with this tattoo? It was in the second to last Gourmet magazine before it, uh, it shut their doors um, as the most apt culinary tattoo or something like that. So, who knows? It's not an like award they have up in my office, in my trophy room. <laughs> no, I actually don't know. If you could share this meal, what we're eating right now, besides with us, of course, yeah. who, who would it be? 
Uh, yeah. You know, probably some close family members, my uh, my girls and my and my wife Mary, and then probably Tom Waits and Mark Twain. Or Tom Waits. Like yeah, I love it. Come on. I think it's so cool that you incorporate your daughters so often too. It's nice yeah. to see what a strong family you are. They're 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 good kids. They're they're crazy. They're Chef Hugh kids. Atchison, thank you yeah. so much. For more on Chef Atchison and the dish, head to our website at cbsnews.com slash CBS This Morning. You didn't spare anything in this. Uh, no, no, no. It's yeah. early. Yes, it's very, very early. That's very good. In the weekend. Up next, the Goo Goo Dolls star in our second cupcake.